What's up y'all, welcome to your Susanna. Today we're gonna learn how to build the Nikai standing fan. Mine's black, yours can be white, I don't know. Now I bought two, one for my mom and dad's room and one for my room. So I went ahead and bought some YouTube tutorials and I learned how to build my one fan and now I'm building the second one and showing it to you guys because I didn't how to do it. Now I just wanna say Hitachi and this one or any other standing fan has the same stuff, so do not worry. I do not know what the names are called, but I'm sorry. I'm just gonna like <laughs> point it out. So now I've got the box open, and as you can see, I've not opened it. it. Means I'm doing it from scratch. So once you open the box, you get a lot of heavy stuff. So if you're under the like, if you cannot carry heavy stuff, do not. Please take parental guidance. This is a little black. We call this the base. This helps, this is one of the key things to hold the standing fan, not for the fan, to hold the standing fan steady. The next thing, I again do not know what I called, but it helps, it, the fan is based on this. And then you can make the, like, you can stop the fan from, again, I do not know what I'm saying. We can stop the fan from going and like go to the highest speed, less speed, anything. Next up I got out was the grids and the grids came with the fan wheel um, attached to it by a little thread as you can see, I don't know what it's called. And then I got my warranty card from Hitachi, I mean, sorry. Um, Nikai, yeah, Nikai is probably the man. I'm sorry. And then I got this little basing again. And now I'm gonna get the metal rod out, and then there's this little silver knob at the bottom. Uh, and I did fasten the process, but yeah, the silver knob we're gonna rotate it um, faster. You can like get the knob out, and there comes a silver disc with it. So, um, yeah. Now you're gonna take the base and the rod. So in this base, you're gonna take the little circular thing which will fit in the center. And then you're gonna put the rod and then you're gonna flip it. I flipped it and then you're gonna take the silver disc, put it at the bottom of the base, there's gonna be a hole. Put the silver disc and then screw it together tightly. As you can see I did that, you're going to make it stand and then the thing which I said um, controls everything. You're going to, like first in the stick there's going to be a silver knob, you're going to pull that out, tighten the screw and then put this thing on top. And my mom pointed out, you're going to loosen the screw then once you put it back in, tighten the screw all over again. So you know that the fan will not break into pieces when you use it. Now I'm going to take the grid and I'm going to dismantle it. Like, Take the fan, the blade, off the grid. Off one of the grids, actually. Now, I'm going to show you guys where I had removed a screw when you put the grid, and I'm removing the plastic from the fan. Remove the screw from the grid, put the grid on, and then screw it back tightly. Now, I'm going to apply the fan to the little stick which they have, I don't know what it's called, and then hook it with another hook that they will um, give you, like, yeah. Now I got this Hitachi label, which I have to put in front of the last um, grid, and then it came with three screws, like that one. You are going to attach it and place it properly, and then you are go using a screwdriver, you're gonna tighten all three of the screws, like you can see I am doing at the moment. You have to make sure you you have a good alignment. I asked my mom to align it for me because I'm not good in, in alignments, but yeah. They get three holes and you have to make sure the Hitachi um, label is with that three holes. Then you're gonna put the screws and tighten all three of them. As you can see, again, I'm doing. Now 
Now, once you've screwed it very tightly, um, there's a little label that comes. The bottom is like a tight screw, that thing. You're gonna align it, and then you're gonna tighten it using a screwdriver, which I did. And that's actually the end of the building of the fan. And then I'm gonna remove the little black wire looking thingy off the plug, throw it apart, and there you go. And now I'm gonna show you guys how it works. On the switches, that one off the zero button offset. The first one gives you light speed. And right now it's training because it's on oscillation. So to when you push it uh, down, the oscillation starts. When you pull it up, the oscillation stops. Now, this is our first speed. Then we're gonna go on the second speed. That's a little bit more pressure than the first one. And then third is the highest, and that's a really cool thing. That's it. We're gonna stop it. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye.